Hello everyone, I'm Modi here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In this video, we will learn about embedded expressions in Karate Framework. You might not be understanding the term, but let me show you with an example. Suppose I have a JSON payload like this. In this JSON, I have hardcoded the value of first name and last name. Since JSON is the native data type in Karate Framework, so we don't need to pass the keys in double quotes. Let me print this JSON. I will run the scenario. So it is printing the JSON properly. So here it is printing the JSON properly with the value. But what problem we have here? We have hard coded the values. In real time, it might be possible that you read the values from some different sources. Suppose you read the values and store in some variables and that variables you want to embed in your JSON. I will create some variables where I will store the first name and last name. So for that, I will use the keyword called def. I can give any name of the variable similarly for the last name. So instead of hard coding the value of first name and last name like here i want to use these variables in my json for that i need to use the embedded expression which is provided by karate i will duplicate these lines so to reference the variable in the json we need to follow a syntax if this is a string value then you need to pass the embedded expression in single quotes like this you need to use has and then parenthesis and here you need to give the variable name same thing for last name these are called embedded expressions. So when we run this scenario, these embedded expression will be evaluated and it will feed the correct value. Let me run and show you. So here you can see it is feeding the correct values. Suppose we have some integer and boolean values. So let me add some more variables. So here I have added two more variables. One is integer, another is boolean. So to embed integer and boolean values, we need to have the embedded expression with single quotes. That is id colon, just pass the has and give the variable name and same thing for the boolean value but if i run this scenario it will perfectly feed the values so here you can see it is giving the id as integer and is manager as false which is boolean here i have declared the variables locally but suppose if i keep these variables in my karate configuration file then also it will read the value from there let me show you that quickly i'll go to my karate hyphen config.js and here i will add all those variables so here i have added the variables in my karate hyphen config.js so here you can see it is reading the value from configuration file suppose you have a json where you need to pass the full name means you need to combine first name and last name for that also we can use the embedded expression let me show you how so instead of first name and last name i will use full name so here we have little trick this will e evaluate one variable but i want to concatenate first name and last name i will uncomment these and i will comment these values so to use two variables with the embedded expression i need to use has parenthesis give the first variable name and give the second variable name using the plus so here individual variables will be evaluated and the values of both the variables will be concatenated let me run this scenario so here you can see it is concatenated both the first name and last name if you want to give white space between first name and last name then you can use plus two double quotes so it will take first name value then it will give the space then it will append the last name let me run and show you so here you can see first name and last name are appended with the white space. Suppose you want to concatenate some prefix, hard coded prefix, maybe hello full name. For that, I'll copy these lines. So here I want to print hello full name. So hello will be hard coded value. So if you want to put some hard coded value, that you need to give in double code and give the string. Here I need to use the double quotes because the entire thing in single quotes. Let me run this scenario. So here you can see full name value with hello Amod Mahajan. Even if you have a JSON file which contains embedded expression in it, then also values of those embedded expression will be evaluated. Let me show you quickly. So here in the payloads folder, I have created one employee.json which contains two keys, first name and last name. And here I have used the embedded expression whatever I explained just now. I will read the JSON file in my feature file and we'll see how these values will be evaluated during runtime. So to read the file, I need to use the read method and here I need to pass the path. I have already explained how to read the JSON file in the Karate framework in my previous videos. So path is payloads slash employee dot JSON. 
so the content of this employee.json will be stored in this variable employee payload let me simply print this variable i will run the scenario so here you can see embedded expression from the json file has been evaluated and printing the actual values even we can use the backtick which is the important concept of java in which you can embed the variables in the string so for an example suppose i want to create a variable it will be like welcome text i want to have like hello and then the full name for that i need to use backtick this character you can find below the escape key in the windows give the text whatever you want to have like hello and here i want to have my first name so for that i need to use dollar symbol no hash dollar symbol give the curly braces and then give the variable name i will print the variable and run so here you can see it is printing the hello amud the same embedded expression you can use with the match keyword as well suppose i have a variable full name and value is amud mahajan i will write a match statement i want to match that full name should be equal to first name value plus last name value here i need to use double equal because this is a match keyword if i run this scenario it will run perfectly fine so you can see scenario is passing the same statement we can write using the embedded expression also for that you need to use has and use parentheses with the double quotes or single quotes so i will run the scenario again so here you can see scenario is passing even we can use the json path with the embedded expressions let me copy some lines and create another scenario so here i have simple json and here i have another json where i am embedding the variables we can embed the json path as well means if i want to fetch the first name and last name from this employee object to this employee object that also we can do just we need to give the proper json path so to fetch first name from this json object it will be employee dot first name same thing for last name so these embedded expression which are json path will be evaluated and it will feed the correct values let me run and show you so here you can see it is extracting the value from the employee json using the json path embedded expression let's see some negative scenarios here i am using the id value and here i have declared one variable suppose if i don't have any variable called id value and then if i run this scenario what do you think what value will be assigned to id let me run and show you so here you can see it is not assigning any value just it is giving the same embedded expression whatever we have written there so we need to make sure whatever variables we are using that should be present in the context either it should be present in your local context local feature file or it should be present in your configuration file suppose if the variable is present but the value is null and if i run the scenario let's see what happens so here you can see it is embedding null value which is correct because the value of the variable is null but if you want that if any key has the null value then that field should be ignored from the json for that you need to little tweak the embedded expression instead of using single hash you need to use double hash it will evaluate the embedded expression value if it is null then it will simply ignore that key from the json let me run and show you so here you can see there is no id field same thing applies for the json path also if the json path does not return any value then that field will be removed but if we use the double hash so this is how we should use the embedded expression in creative framework that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone